Good morning and welcome to Spartan Spotlight where we bring you all things regarding AU Athletics. I'm Christina Bonfiglio. Today we will be joined by women's basketball coach Brittany Carper who is her first season was named the NACC Women's Basketball Coach of the Year. This came in 2014. Also joining us today is women's basketball player Alex Holteen. Alex is a junior and had a great season last year recording 75 points. Today we'll get to know these two women a bit better and we'll talk a bit about exciting season coming up November 17th. Thank you both for joining me today. Thanks for having us. Coach, the first question's for you. Before coming to AU, you were assistant coach at both Carthage College as well as Quincy University. Was the transition from assistant coach to head coach difficult at first? Uh, you know, it's always a little bit different in terms of your role, but I was you know, under really good coaches at both of those uh, universities, and I, I feel like I was really prepared uh, for taking this job and really kind of just used all the tools that I had learned from them and, um, you know, tried to apply it every day here. That's great. Alex, when did you start playing basketball? Probably since I was young enough to pick up a basketball. <laughs> My dad plays basketball, so I used to always go to his games and attempt to shoot when I was real little. So <laughs> yeah, That's awesome. Um, this is questions for both of you. The season begins the 17th against Wheaton College. What are your thoughts going into the game and the season? You want me to go first? Sure. All right, I'll take it. Uh, Wheaton's a really, really good program. Uh, you know, they're preseason top 10 in the nation, so that'll be a really strong test for our team out of the gate. Uh, but I think, you know, if we come and, and we compete and we play hard for all 40 minutes, you know, it's something we can build off for the rest of the year. So while the outcome, you know, I don't know how that will go, I, I think it's more about uh, the effort of our team and really the way we compete that night. Follow up on sure, that. I can build on that. I know a lot of the girls are really excited because we remember the game last year. So uh -huh. for returners, it's more just being a little more competitive at the game. So, yeah. um, Coach, what experiences or philosophies do you have from your time as an assistant coach that has aided you in your first two seasons here at AU? Both of the you know programs I was at as an assistant coach were really successful. So mm -hmm. I think I've tried to use those experiences and the tools I learned both as a player and as a coach and, and really try to bring those every day uh, to practice here just in terms of what it takes to build a successful pro program. Um, you know, and really to, to compete every single day to get better. I think it's all about the process. It's not necessarily how we start, uh, but how we build up and you know how we're playing basketball at the end of the year. And I think you know, really this year with a lot of new faces on our team, you know, really establishing them to compete every day and get better. And I think the results will take care of themselves at the end. Um, how has the program changed in the two years that you were head coach here? Uh, tremendously, I would mm -hmm. say. The, the women's program, you know, historically had been good up until probably, you know, six, eight years ago. I think when I walked in, it was at a little bit of a down spot. But, mm -hmm. you know, now I think every day the you know, culture of our program is completely different from when I arrived. Uh, our kids enjoy coming to practice. Mm -hmm. They compete hard every day. And that definitely wasn't the case when I first got here. Um, I think Alex can uh, mm -hmm. definitely attest to that. But I think just every day um, it's continuing to evolve and really just trying to establish ourselves as a, as a program that's on the rise and, you know, someone that's going to be around for a while. That's great. Alex, who had the biggest impact on you and, your, you on and off the court? I would definitely say Bethany on the team. She is a year ahead of me, and she's taught me a lot, like even basketball-wise and at practice, about how to not only like push myself but to push everybody else to get better. And then off the court, too, she's taught me how to be like a better leader, both on and off the court on the team and just in general mm -hmm. having better leadership. That's awesome. And another question for both you and Alex, what are, what team goals, what are the team goals for this season? You want to tackle it first? Or sure. Okay. I mean, I think that always our team goal is just to be better than last year. I mean, like just progress game to game. And mm -hmm. I think that being at the top of our conference has always been a goal for us and just being a leader in that conference. So. Yeah, I think following up on that, definitely to, to get better every single day. Um, you know, we were picked eighth in preseason, so I think obviously would be to finish above that, which I think would be an expectation out of our group. Uh, but really it's just about, you know, bettering ourselves every day. And at the end, if you do that, you'll put yourself in a really good position. Mm -hmm. And then, Alex, what are your goals for the season? Uh, I'd say I have, like, personal goals for myself about getting better, specifically yeah. on defense. I know Coach would... Uh, definitely agree with me on that, but I think that other than that, I really do share the team goals. I mean, we're very much about a team, so mm -hmm. the team goals are also my goals. Um, Alex, 
you finished last season with great numbers totaling 75 points, 25 assists, and 46 rebounds. Does that give you some added motivation for this season? Uh, I think my motivation is probably that I want to do better than that. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's probably where my motivation comes. Yeah. <laughs> and then another question for Coach and Alex. What is um, the outlook on the season? I think with a lot of new kids, uh, you know, last year I think was obviously a little step back in terms of our wins losses um, from my previous year. But, you know, so obviously we would like to, can, you know, continue to get better in that regard. But I think just every day uh, continuing to come together as a team, really building on what we have here, um, you know, incorporating all the new faces and, and really putting ourselves in a good position, um, you know, come the end of February. Yeah, I think we have a really positive outlook. I think the group this year, especially compared to the last two years, is a lot more excited to be there. So I think just keeping a positive attitude throughout the team. That's awesome. And then, Alex, finally, um, you're an elementary education major and a junior here at AU. What are your plans after AU? I'm hoping to teach probably younger grades. So, And I kind of want to stay in the area. I'm very family-oriented. So I'm hoping to get a teaching job somewhere close by. That's great. Well, it was really great hearing from you both, and thank you so much for joining us on the show. Good luck with the upcoming season. Come out to support the women's basketball team at their home opener November 17th as they take on Wheaton College and Thornton Gymnasium. Good luck to the men's soccer team who plays their second game at the Northern Athletics Collegiate Conference Tournament tomorrow after winning their first game against Wisconsin Lutheran College. That's all the time we have here today on Spartan Spotlight. Join us next time and be great today, Spartans.